All right, hey Capricorn, so I'm doing a soul contract read for you and the person on your mind. All right, um, and you're going to know this is your read through the mutual energy and the current situation. If it doesn't resonate with you, it just means that it's most likely not your read. So check another placement, you guys, if you're drawn to this read and welcome if you're new. I do hope that you will subscribe to my channel um, if you like my energy. All right, look at this. We got some ego issues going on. All right, the mutual energy. The devil card showing up here is battle of the ego. Look at ego. I feel like you guys do want this new beginning, but I feel like the devil card is what's getting in the way um, of preventing, uh, of preventing, of opening up the door to opportunity. All right, with the knight of wands, I feel like there's a lot of passion that you guys um, carry for one another. There's a lot of heat, a lot of romanticized energy, but... This guy, I'm going to put him in the middle because I really feel like that's what's kind of creating the chaos or has created the chaos uh, in this connection. You guys, um, this could be past energy, recent past energy, and it could be that we're stepping into the full energy, which is uh, shifting new beginnings. It's a zero point field, so it's like a brand new boost of energy. And um, I'm getting chills as I say this because the Mayan um, New Year started today. Okay. Which is going to bring um, ample opportunity for new beginnings and new starts. It don't matter what's happening right now. You might feel a little bit stuck. They might feel a little bit stuck. Nobody's approaching the other one, right? All right. But it's like this devil card. It did show up in reverse. So it could just be like we're finally in this place where it's like, can we just like knock it off? You know, can we knock it off? Because we want this and this to happen. So let's just see what is this current situation. I got chills all the way on the top of my head. It's crazy. The current situation... Look at that. You guys are in manifestation mode. You got the five of cups showing up. So there could be some distance between you guys. All right. We have the queen of swords. We have the six of coins coming through. I really feel like it could go both ways. I feel some of you guys may be still kind of disconnected, but knowing um, something in your heart that it's, it's about to shift, it's about to change um, because this card does show up in reverse. It, it could be that, okay, we're just finally getting rid of this uh, idea that this is something that'll, that'll never work. Okay. And then we like, this is where we step, turn around and see that, Oh, there is still love here. There is still some care for one another here. Okay. And I really feel that the, the magician card is you guys in your thoughts, putting that out to the universe, recognized or unrecognized you guys, the magician card to me is a manifestation card. It's a communication card. You got another communication card with the queen of swords. So there could be a lot of communication going on or a lot of communication that's about to come through. So where you've seen imbalance with this connection, whether it was one-sided or not, you guys, I feel like that energy is going to be restored. Okay. So I really feel, you know, patience is key here, but also stepping out of ego, stepping out of the, it's never going to happen mentality, stepping out of sadness and just letting things come in as they need to come in. All right, um, so let's just see what your past life karma was, your past life together, what you guys carried, how you ended your life together. You guys, you have aces. Look at this. It's like there's this recognition of a soul. Look, you got divine masculine and feminine energy, but it's like for whatever reasons, you guys couldn't pull it together. All right, you have the two of swords coming through. Um and that could be where our ego kind of steps in. You have two aces coming through in reverse. So it's like this connection is just one that never really took to, it never really got off the ground. Okay. Um, I really feel like there is right here a recognition and you recognize it this life, but for whatever reason, it's almost like you guys are blocking the connection this life again. All right. So what happened in your last life? What I see here is somebody was definitely blocked, but it's recognized. And this is also mutual energy. Um, it, okay. It's like too good to be true, too big to be true. Um, you think about the soul dynamic and the twin flame dynamic and it's like people, I know that there's kind of a craze going on with the twin flame dynamic and that's not the intention of this read. You guys, I really wanted to keep it open. Um, but I, for some reason after I did the first set, it kind of just went in this turn of, of, of romanticized love. Um, I really feel like you guys seen it last life, but it wasn't wasn't real, you know, and that's why it never started. And that could be how you guys are feeling in this life. It's here. You recognize it, but it's, it's too big for me to comprehend. It's too big for me to understand. Therefore it's got to be fake and false. So let's just kind of cut it right now. And that could be what you've experienced in this lifetime. 
Okay, so let's just see what you guys need to resolve. What is what you should be resolving in this lifetime? What you need to resolve. All right, so look at that conflicted state of mind, you guys. And recognizing the soul path, the soul connection. This right here is removing doubt, removing the false a belief system that's kind of imposed on us, especially when it comes to love and relationships, you know, um, everything that you've experienced when it comes to love is most likely wrong. And it's like, you got to untie all that work and then start, start, re start tying, start releasing the shoes, how you want to release them. You know, one thing that I've learned on this journey is it's important to unlearn everything a teacher taught you. Uh, and you guys, I'm not, ta I'm talking about just how we are as human beings, how, what our parents taught us, what the pastor taught us. It's like all oh, that shit. Oh, we gotta, un we have to undo that and then start to reparent ourselves. And that includes when it comes to stepping into the love dynamic. And if we're still kind of carrying the old belief system, so say you have pretend like this is a twin flame for you. Okay. And you disconnect from the person because it just doesn't feel like it's happening. That's an old belief system. And you guys know on that twin journey, it's about soul growth. You can't be together if you're not willing to do the work on, on a soul level because twin flame is not an, it's not a 3D connection. You're not meant to have babies and, uh, you know, you're not meant to have a romanticized idea of love with this what you what's happening is is this person is here to spark you into soul evolution and you're meant to spark them into soul evolution and then you guys will have this huge wake up this realization it's like bigger it, this happens bigger than than just saying that's my twin flame all right now it's like oh we have some evolution so i'm you guys know twin flame is one soul that's split into two right Okay, so those two souls now have to come in and be balanced and harmonized together. Okay, you have to be balanced and harmonized. And then when you guys come back together, it's like one soul. It was like there was nothing that was ever gone. Uh, and then now, okay, what do we have to do? We have to teach humanity how to be that, how to how to step into themselves. Okay, um, that's what this that's what this path is all about right here. This journey. All right. If you guys don't do it this lifetime, guess what? You're going to come back again. I'm just going to say that. Okay. You're going to come back and you got to do it again with this person. You got the lover's card right here and that's recognizing, accepting it and moving forward with it. It's holding space for one another. You guys, you guys recognize it. I'm almost like getting emotional because it's like you guys recognized it last time. Didn't do nothing with it. You recognize it this lifetime. You're not doing anything with it. And it's like, hold space for it. You, so whoever is here. You know that this is, even if you've never heard a twin flame, this connection is coming through because you don't understand it, but you have so much love for this person. It's like, what do I do with it? Uh, maybe, and I hope that if you, if some of you guys haven't realized what a twin flame was, I hope that you actually research it. And, and I hope that this is actually the starting of groundwork for you, especially if you question it. And for others of you, if this is just, you know, a partnership or a soulmate, you know, you still have to put in this work on, on what it takes to kind of commit to this connection and, and correct it and then be on that path of holding space. So if something isn't going our way, we tend to just kind of, okay, well, let it, uh, it's like this. Um, like, okay, say you're single and you're doing the work. All right. You're healing. You're just moving along in life. You're doing all this good work. And then it's like this dude or this chick, they just keep on hitting on you and coming at you and coming at you and coming at you. Right. And it's like, no, I'm just here for this. And I'm just working on myself. I'm focusing on myself. Okay. Well, uh, and then it's like, um, yeah, this, this say, uh, Tim, Tom and Bob, yeah, I'm spiritual too. And I, I agree with you and I resonate with everything you say. And then boom, a week later, you see them all in relationships with somebody. That's just somebody looking to fill the time. Okay. That's a distraction from your work. And I really feel like, you know, what we have here is a real, a, a real good opportunity for the ultimate type of relationship. But if two people are avoiding doing that inner work, of course, it's not going to work. You guys, uh, especially, you know, on that recognized twin flame journey. And that is again, not what this read was supposed to be about, but I just, I don't know why I'm, I'm saying it for a reason. And it's probably because a lot of you feel like you're on that journey. All right. Um, 
And if you're like, well, I'm doing the work and, you know, everything is, is still not coming together. Well, you got to take that thought out of your mind and continue to just be present and focus on you. Your manifestations are, are, are they're being sent to the universe. You act like you have it. It will come. Okay. So let's just see what, how you are meant to grow through this connection, this lifetime. Look at that. Okay. How you are meant to grow through this connection going back and forth. I do want it. I don't, I do, I don't, I do, I don't. Okay. I feel like this is like a revelation. All right. Towards what this connection actually means to you. Also fear, fear of rejection, fear of loneliness, fear of hurt. If you guys are kind of entertaining other situations that really are just not, they're just not, it's not cutting the beef right on this connection, this powerful one. Okay. This is like not having enough faith. And why you're here and this connection right here is, is meant to teach you. You got to have faith in what you know to be true. All right. The page of pentacles is representing, you know, the past mistakes, the past failures. All right. Um, okay. So do you believe if you are in a different connection right now that it's going to work? All right. Does it feel off to you? Does it feel strange? Does it feel 3d? Does the, does this connection right here feel 5d and does your current situation feel 3d? Then it, it's, where do you think the opportunity is going to grow at with this connection? You know what I'm saying? I just feel like you guys are, are told to have a little bit bigger faith in yourself and what this person is supposed to represent to you. Okay. Um, and I feel like that will shift and you have the page of pentacles, which also represents opportunities and manifestation goals. All right. I really feel like this right here is it's a mental exercise. How powerful are you, Capricorn? You guys are powerful. All right. You are powerful and it's time to embrace and, and embody that power. So let's just see what this person, how what they are meant to learn and grow from. Look at that. Here's my twin flame card. If you got as, as this whole read. OK, this person right here is meant to open up themselves all right, to what this connection truly means. If they questioned it the last lifetime, they are definitely being made aware of it this lifetime. All right, this right here, look at that. It's it's like you got two impatient people, man. Two impatient people. If this person has been somebody who's been all talk and no action, uh, you know, it's like they say one thing and they and they they do completely the opposite. If they act in haste, you know, if the, if they're kind of uh, I have to say bratty or they're throwing fits because they don't get their way. Things aren't going their way. You're meant to teach them patience, you know, and you could have been somebody that kind of sparked the, the, uh, origination of soul, soulmate twin flame journey in this person. And you may not see it now, but what they're supposed to do is kind of wake up to the realization of how important this connection is. Okay. This right here to me is, you know, Hey, you know, this is waiting for your ships to come in. This is the lack of faith that they're coming in. All right. And, you know, Capricorn, if, if you deal with somebody who's kind of in this energy, it's like they know we've talked about it. I've expressed it. They're aware of it. Well, and perhaps you are the more awakened twin and you are the one that promised this person to do that inner soul work. All right. Because it only takes one person healing. And I know it sucks because it's like, well, why do I have to do all the work? Well, because you signed up for it. Okay. But you can bet that this person will also, it's, they might be a little bit delayed, but they're also healing right there along with you. All right. So let's just see what's coming next. What comes next to this connection? Look at that, you guys. Um. Anyways, what's coming next? So look at, you have this negative, maybe even toxic energy of the past. This right here is, it might feel painful every time you guys have had your in and outs or your, you know, up and downs. Okay, but this right here is saying the negative energy will be released, you guys, and you will see um, union and harmony through this connection. But I really feel like it's going to be dependent on how far you choose to evolve. Because I feel like for whoever is here, you guys recognize, you know what this is, but it's easier to just give up, right? That's not how it should be. Look at that. All right, the seven of wands. That's two people who are just crazy in love. That's crazy about each other, but in a positive, crazy way. All right, you got you got each other's back, man. Um, but I really feel like it's up to you guys. All right, and if you guys have to close out any karmic situations, man, I feel like what you're being told is close them out. Let's get moving. So let's just see what you guys are facing, the outcome of this uh, connection. Look at that. Soulmate energy, balance, a long road ahead. It's a long journey, but it's very, very feasible to accomplish, you guys. Look at you at the Ace of Wands showing up, the Six of Swords. 
moving forward, moving on, and the return coming through, you guys. This is such warm, positive, beautiful energy. All right, and I really feel like this is where it's sitting at. And it might feel like the devil is kind of superseding everything right now, but that's not what that's not what this connection that is not meant that that's just the growth. That's the out, outdated um mentality. That's the outdated version of you guys. All right, this is the fresh new version. So let's see what initials are coming out. We have the X. If your initials don't show up, you guys know the energy is derived from the cards. P H and we have IF. All right, Cap, you guys take care and good luck.